Welcome to iOS Development Tips and Tricks course. My name is Andy. In this lecture, we're going to look real quick how we can set the label and buttons that have the long name to be expanded into a multi-line. So let's start by creating a single view application. I'm going to call this label button text. Click next. And click create. So let's go to the main storyboard. And I'm going to close the document outline to make some room. And we got our view controller. I'm going to bring the label. And let's say we create a very long name for our label. I'm a very long name label that may expand to multiple lines. Then I'm going to set it in the center. Then I'm going to set the auto layout for this label. Then control click to the super view, vertical spacing, and do the same thing for the leading, and do the same thing for the trailing. Now let's run this app real quick. I'm just going to set it for iPhone 6s and run it. So as you can see, the label is getting cut off. It's not displaying the whole thing. And it's limited to just one line. So let's go back to our main storyboard. And there is an easy fix for this. If you go to the attributes inspector, and we're going to set the lines to zero. This will cause the app to automatically set the label to multiple lines if, if it's too short to display in one line. So if we run it again, Now the label is showing in multiple lines and nothing getting cut off. And now let's do the same exercise with button. Again, I'm going to give a very long name for this button. I'm a button with very long name. May expand to multiple line and then let's put some auto layout then i'm going to drag this to the label to maintain the spacing between them and then i'm going to also set the space with the leading and space with the trailing now let's run this app As you can see, the button is getting cut off. And unlike the label where we can set the line to zero, in buttons we don't have that option. But instead, if we scroll down, there is a line break, and we can select word wrap. Now if we run this again, now the label of the button is showing properly. And what if we want to make this align to the center? So right now it's aligned to the left. With the label, it's easy. We can just select the label and set the alignment to center. However, with the button, there is no such option. So what we need to do, let's bring out the assistant editor. And then I'm going to do control, click and drag from the button to our view controller. And I'm going to name this long button and then to make the label of the button alignment to the center we can use long button dot title label dot text alignment and then equal center now let's test this again
Now we got the labels in the center and the button label also have a center alignment. So that's a few tips when dealing with labels and buttons.